Why does the U.S. Navy refuse to bring back a weapon that actually worked? The Navy had a weapon that could launch a 45-pound projectile from zero to 5,000 miles per hour in one hundredth of a second. The railgun released three to five million amps in 10 milliseconds, hitting targets 100 miles away with the force of a multi-ton truck moving at 160 miles per hour. No explosives, no gunpowder, just electricity turning metal into a missile. For years, the Office of Naval Research ran tests. They pushed it to 32 megajoules. Destroyers were lined up for deployment. The Navy thought they'd change war forever. But then, the program suddenly disappeared when the Pentagon zeroed funding. Turns out, the Navy was hiding a deadly flaw. After hundreds of shots and testing, the barrel would be completely destroyed from the massive heat, melted from the inside out, and the weapon sucked so much electrical power that only ships like the Zumwalt with special integrated propulsion systems could even run it.